Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's time for some more gas works. Yes, we are going to get into the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles from the daily Sudoku channel on Discord, where Clover, Sam Kappelman Lines, and Philip Newman run a very tight ship, and all their puzzles do indeed work and are very good introductory puzzles to a lot of the rule sets that we come across on the channel every now and then. So I'm going to go through the rules of all five puzzles and then try and solve them as quickly as I can. The channel awards two hats for a very fast time, one party hat for a fast time, and one dinosaur for a slower time. So we'll see how I do. I did have an occasion about 10 puzzles ago where I got zero because I entered the wrong answer. Uh, which was pathetic, but there we go. Let's hope that doesn't happen again today. Now, do check out, obviously, the PBN Institute uh, puzzle packs on Patreon. They are monthly rewards and very good work. They are two excellent puzzles. We've had high praise for them from the people entering. Uh, also, loads of other content around. Simon did a crossword a couple of days ago. We've got all sorts of other stuff going on and... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's all our apps available on the links under the video and our merchandise and uh, Sven Sudoku pad. But the first five links under the video are to the five puzzles I'm going to be doing today. And I'm going to go through the rules now. So the first one is a Consec Thermo by Clover. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, as I hope they will in all the puzzles. Digits along each Thermo must, ah, must increase consecutively from the round bulb to the tip. For instance, a thermo could contain the sequence 3, 4, 5, 6, but not 3, 4, 5, 7. Okay, that's an, an unusual wrinkle. Quadro Sudoku, no markings in the grid, just some given digits. Normal Sudoku rules apply. No 2x2 two two area of the grid is allowed to contain all odd numbers or all even numbers. Now, I've done those in competition, and they're viciously hard to work your way through, so... Let's hope the given digits make this one a bit easier than that. That's what I'm going to hope anyway. Uh, then we move on to the Arrow of Hat Time by Philip. Um, digits along arrows must sum to the circle total. It's just a couple of arrows that don't have their circles on the perimeter and we don't get to know what the total in the circle is. Um, that looks straightforward for a Philip puzzle there. I said it. I'll probably get tripped up by that one now. Uh, the fourth puzzle, Full or Half by Clover. Uh, if a square appears at the intersection of four cells, then exactly two of those cells have even digits and exactly two of them have odd digits, although not necessarily in a checkerboard pattern. If a circle appears at the intersection of four cells, then all of those four cells have the same parity, either all odd or all even. Hmm. Will it be quicker to do that with or without colouring? We shall find out. Well, we probably won't find out, but I'll have to make a choice. And then back to Sam for the fifth one, sequence Sudoku. Each grey line must consist of an arithmetic sequence, that is, a sequence of numbers with a constant difference between each of the terms, like 1, 2, 3, 4, or 3, 5, 7, 9. Although I think all these are three cells long. The sequence can begin at either end of a line. Okay, so those are the five puzzles. Do give them a try on the link under the video, and no matter how new you are to Sudoku, you will be able to do them. If you're very new, you will have to persevere. If you're an old hand, you will fly through some of them. That's almost certain. Now, I am going to start them now. Oh, no. Remember to restart my clock each time. Okay, so I know my time. So, let's get cracking. Now, this is the consecutive thermo. We get very few given digits, but the thermos aren't very long either. Um, okay, this one can't have a four anywhere on it. Ah, okay, and it can't, well, okay, five, six, six, and pencil marking, good lifting away like crazy. This one can't have a five on it, which is less powerful, but I'm still going to try, oh, so it's I, and it can't be one, two, three, four. No, that's more powerful. This one is six, seven, eight, nine. Because it couldn't end in four, so it couldn't be one, two, three, four. That fixes this one. And now the oops, sorry, the seven one can't be one, two, three, four because of that. Can't end in five. Could end in six. It could be three, four, five, six. Can't end in seven. 
if it ended in eight, it would have a seven here. And if it ended in nine, it would have a seven here. So it is the one ending in six, three, four, five, six. Really, it's just eliminating the possibilities. So this one ends in four, seven, or nine. So this one is can't be eight, so three or six. This is two or five, and this is one or four. So it must be one, two, three, four. That's how to get that done. Now, the other thermos are quite small. Maybe not this one, actually. Ends in six, five, four, or three. 5, 4, or 2 there, 4, 3, or 1. Actually, okay, that didn't really resolve. Oh, that couldn't have been a 4 either. This one, is that any better? Can't begin with 2, 3, 4, 6, or 8. So 1, 5, or 7. 2, 6, or 8. Can't be a 3. Can't be a 7. That's a 9. Okay, that's a useful thermo. Hasn't resolved this one at all. So maybe some Sudoku now, just as a change. Five, we get five in box three there. That means this isn't with a five on. Five, seven, six, four, they can't be eight, nine. Ah, that's now three or two, and that's one or two, and that's one, two or three, that's a triple. So we can fill in nine and eight. That is a useful triple to find. This can't be a one where it is on the thermo, so it must be a three. Oh, and this, I oh know. Okay, that two fixes it. I was wondering if the rule fixed it and I just hadn't realized, but I don't think that was relevant. Three, four, five, so now we are flying along. Um, one, oh wow, well, and then I get stopped. Right, six and two up here, but that can't be a five, of course. So the rule does help if you can keep remembering to use it. Four there, three, nine pair, I don't know which way around they go. Two and one, I can do that. Three and nine. This is four, six, or seven. Uh, so this is three, five, or six. Well, that's not actually fully resolved. How about this? Five or six down here. Yes, so we do know which way around that one works. I can finish the bottom row. I can probably finish, no, not quite, row eight, most of it, but not all of it. Uh, six and one there. This is a four and a nine. Oh yes, of course I can do them. I've got a four sitting right above. Okay, so we get a two there. This has now become a three. Still got one of these to do. That can't be eight. So it's two with a three on the end. That's a nine. And now we're just finishing off. Four, one, seven. That's one, five, eight, and nine here. I can't do them yet. Okay, these two, yes, two and two and seven, three, six, eight. No, this is not good. Now I've got repeated threes. Ow, oh, Mark, what have you done? Okay, let's take it back to before that thermo. I was at this point, it still can't work. If that, you know, look, it can't be a three or a nine. Oh, oh, look, look, it's that previous thermo going up to row two, column five. Oh, what a mess. Did I really rush it? It's gonna be four, five, six? No, that doesn't work. Wow, was I not right at this point? This is hideous now. Three, four, five. If I was right up to this point, then we can just continue. But I mean, it had been working quite nicely. And it's this one that's going to be the problem. Maybe I should attack that now. Two or eight there, giving three or nine, which has to be a nine here. So can we make that fit with everything? The nine's quite good there, so maybe this is right. Two, really sorry, don't know what I've missed here. I hope this is gonna be right, because otherwise I'm gonna have to go back to the start. <laughs> My time is gonna suffer accordingly. Um, it's already suffering. You get a one there, seven there, six, five, nine, six. 
These numbers do look very different from what I put in before. 2, 7, they're resolved. They seemed familiar. Um, 4 and 9, that fixes 3 and 9. Maybe I put in 9 and 3 the wrong way round up there. That can't be a 2, but it can be a 4. That's a relief. Oh, still hoping this is going to work now and very far from sure about that. 5, 8, 9. Yes, I can put in 9 and then 5 and 8. 3 and 5 here. Okay, that does seem to work. I'm praying these last two boxes finish off now. 2 and 1. That's an 8. That's all right. 6 and 7. There we go. Okay, don't know what I did wrong before. Maybe I had a feeling maybe I put in 9, 3 hastily the wrong way round or something. Not sure. You'll be able to see exactly what I did wrong if you compare this final solution to the earlier version as I filled it in. Now, the time there, 6 minutes 41, might still nip into the two hats or might miss it. Not sure. I think it's fairly straightforward once you get the idea of doing these thermos in the right order. And as always, well, no, did Clover start off giving us that one? Yes. You should always start in the top left in a Clover puzzle. That's, that's maybe the lesson. Interesting. Well, we've got another clover puzzle to come. I'll try and remember my own advice when we get there. Right, quadro Sudoku. No two by two area of the grid is allowed to contain all odd or all even. Okay, let's go. Ah, so this one has to be even and is an eight. So it becomes a naked single by the rule. This has to be odd. Yes, look, Sam has given us some very interesting near two by twos to finish off here. Oh, that's very nice. These all work for the precisely given by the rule. Now let's look at this one. This has to be even, two or four. This has to be even, two or four. Okay, then, then, then we're out of those instant gratification cells. Let's just use some Sudoku. So eight and one there. Three, five, seven. We can put in the five, but not the three and seven. So that's a naked six, and we've got a two, four pair left to go. Now, I'm not really using the rule much. Maybe I should be thinking about it, but it's a difficult rule to keep on using. Six there, four there, and these others are a two, seven pair. I'm trying to have a quick look to see if the rule operates. I can't see how it does. Two, nine, four, six, there we get a seven and three. What can we do with 1, 8, and 5? I don't know. They are different parities, but again, I don't think the rule's really in operation. So, 1, 5, 9 here. That is a naked 2, so this box is finished off. That gets us 2 here. 3, 7, 9 as a triple. 4, 5, 6. We can put in the 6 down below. And a four, five, that is one or eight. The rule would have helped if it was relevant. It's not going to apply there. Could help here, but only if I get something else in it. Um, right, this central box, no. Ah, seven, one, nine. We know where seven goes. The others are a one, nine pair. Five. Four in one of those cells. Don't know about that. Oh, that seven has fixed box one. Right, that's good. Two and four here. Two, four, one, nine, seven, five, three, eight, six, triple. Now, one, two, nine across here. Don't know how they work. Hmm. Three, four, six, that's five or eight. Oh no, look, one in this box is resolved. That's there. So down this column, we've got a two, three, eight, triple. That's a four, six pair. Gosh, I'm gonna to need to get the rule out again and use it. And that's quite worrying because I don't know where to particularly apply it. I have to search for odd or even clusters of numbers. There's one, two, six, eight. So this is odd. Is that helpful? No, there's a two, four pair in the row, so that's not two. That's not six. This can't be 
Now that's given me a 3-8 pair, so this could never have been odd. Bother. So I found somewhere for the rule to apply and couldn't use it. Ah, there, so that must be odd, right. I mean, it's difficult to find that sort of thing, in my opinion. Eight there, if I need this much more in this puzzle, it will be very slow, is my prediction now. Um, five, seven, and one or nine is odd. Okay, but that has to be even, so it doesn't resolve it. Seven, five, and that... I mean, I, I still sense this is a harder puzzle for Sam to create than it is for us to solve, but it doesn't make it easy to solve. Um, is there somewhere else that's obvious to use the rule? 826, no. And I might just have to proceed with Sudoku trying to find these, these pairs. There must be some more pairs. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Seven, oh, there we go. Seven, five, and one or nine. So this is even. That's an eight. Okay, that fixes that as a three. So we get the three, two, eight there. The two looks across here. That might help actually all over the place. Now we get those two. Five and four down there. <coughs> <clears throat> that's become a four. In fact, I do four, seven, five at the top. That's three. This column finishes off. This row finishes off. This is a one. That fixes nine, one. Um, this becomes a five, nine, one there. Now, that is a nine, in fact, given the options. That's six, four. 2, 4, and 6, 3. So I only had to find one difficult one, but it was hard, and that's quite interesting and surprising to me. Um, it's a clever puzzle. So that time of just under five and a half minutes, I'm happy enough with that, but definitely a sort of sting in the tail there. That was good fun. Clever puzzle, Sam. So, on to Philip, who has often been my nemesis. I've declared already this looks reasonably straightforward. Ah, madness. Okay, let's have a go. Let's get cracking. So, four is a one-three pair. Three is a one-two pair. Um, come on. Four is another one-three pair. Seven is a two-five pair if it can't have one or three. So, this is eight there and a six-nine pair. Now seven there, can't use one or three, it's got to be a two five again. So in fact, that's a seven with a two five. These numbers in the middle columns are roping. Uh, that's a six, eight, nine triple. We can place the nine and the same up here. Doesn't resolve the first row. Oh, this has to be a four, five pair if we can't use one, two, three. So we can put in the six. Get the feeling we're going to be able to do the perimeter. Ah, oh, we need a five in this row. Okay, so it's got to be there. That two means one of these is a two. That is unhelp well, not helpful. Slightly different from being unhelpful. That's a one four pair because three is gone in the column. This now, no, don't know. Hmm. Okay, this seven can't be two five. Ah, this can't be two six or one seven. That's three five. Now the seven has to be one six. This is four nine, but that can't be a four because of needing a one in the bottom box. Oh, that's two sets of nine. So that's two seven and three six, and this is an eight. Six, eight, done there. Now, this has to be four, five. That was analogous to the position in the top left. That can't be a six, seven pair. So this can't be a two, three pair. Six, seven, eight, nine, that's a two, three pair. So that resolves these. Lots done there. Um, how am I ever gonna resolve these? That's, oh. Yeah, I'm getting a bit confused how this is going to finish off. That's a 1-4 pair, so 2 there. That means that this now can't be 4-3 or 2-5. That's 1-6. That means this is 3-5 again. 
four and nine, same deal. That can't be a four in the circle. These are two, three, and six, seven again. So it's a very similar position to the bottom left. Uh, we get an eight there now. Four, five there is sorting out the one, four. That's sorting out the three, one now. These can't have three, two. So these can't have six, seven. Still not clear how that's all going to get disambiguated. But we get six, one, three, four, nine, two, five. Central box all done. Oh, seven, eight. Yes, that's done. That fixes seven, six. So that does sort out the arrows. This side must be a similar thing going on on the other side, I would think. Five, four, two, one. So it's eight, isn't it? Yes, eight, seven, and that sorts out the arrows. Wow, that really is very neat. Remarkably symmetrical puzzle from Philip, but as predicted, not too difficult, and lots of clues given. Three minutes, 27, that's a nice fast time for a Philip puzzle. Um, I don't quite know what the arrow of hat time means. Oh, I was gonna be reading out the uh, introductions on Discord, and I've not done it again. Um, maybe I will look them up at the end. Right, let's have a look at full or half by Clover. So, if a square appeals, if a, sorry, if a square appears, then it's too odd, too even around it. But a circle is all four with the same parity. Interesting. So we have seven, eight, nine here, four, five, six here. I don't think this is any help with the rule. One, two, three here. So these have to be all the same parity. It is helpful. So that must be a, a one, three pair. These are also odd. They can come from one, three, five. Here we need two evens. So that's a two and that's a four. So with round the circle, they have to be the same. So those are the odd ones. We get an eight there. These have to be odd as well. Five, seven, or nine are the possibles. Actually, that can't be a five. That can't be a five. This has to be even. It has to be a four. So again, symmetry working in our favor, as granted by Clover. Um, so the circles are definitely the powerful ones. Here we've got four odds. One, three, so five, nine there, five, seven, nine there, one, five there. Here we've got four odds as well. Feels a bit less helpful, maybe not. Ah, there's a seven, nine pair there. So we get a one, five pair. These have to both be even now. So that's a two, eight pair. These have to be even, so that's a two, eight pair. And I know which way round they go. Um, still got some squares left to deal with. They're both odd. So these two are both even. That is two, six, or eight. They're both odd, so the same here. That, no, 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 no. There is no square in this group. So that was nonsense. The square's over here, isn't it? Did it? No, I was using that square. I should use this square. But this time we've got even odd. This has to be odd because it sees all the evens. So that's even. So that, that pattern does apply with the four six there. This is odd, obviously. So one, seven or nine. Now there's two odds here. So these are two evens. That's a six. That's an eight. That's a two now. Uh, that puts two here. Two, six, eight, four. This must be a three. Five, six, two. That's one or seven, and that's seven or nine. There's a one, three pair below it. Um, I could do these by uniqueness, but I won't do that. Four, five, six, two, eight. So eight, five, one, three. Okay, let's use this one. We need two evens and two odds. We've got even and odd there, oh, but that's one of each. Four, one, two, three, eight, five. 
six, seven, or nine. Well, it's a tr quadruple. That's an eight. And they have to be different parity. Oh, we, it's a five, seven, nine triple. So that's a six. And that means this is a nine to make the parity. No, it doesn't. It could still be five. Honestly, how do I not know what parity five is? Um, that has to be a three because it sees the one, five, and seven, nine pair. Seven, eight, nine. So I've got two, four, and six left to place in the row. I don't think I can do that yet. Bother. That's one or seven. So we've got five in the end column. That fixes one there. That's actually very helpful. One, three, nine, seven, five. Didn't expect that box to finish. I'm very concerned about that deadly pattern, which I didn't think could exist here. And that suggests to me I've got something wrong in the puzzle, and that's hideous. This is not good. Oh, I mean, what is the point of continuing when I'm pretty sure that I must have something wrong now? I don't know, but I'm just seeing what happens at the end of this. Eight, seven, nine. Is there a way of disambiguating that with this rule set? I can't see how there would be. Really can't. Um, maybe there's going to be a way of fixing it at the end. That is also very unlikely. What's going on here? If that's seven, nine, I can fill in one, five. I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and this has become impossible. So I've got to go back and I shouldn't have just carried on when that first came to light. So I made this a five, didn't I? Oh, because I started filling in this box. Hmm. Now, have I got the pencil marking wrong in this box? I said that couldn't be eight. Maybe I used a wrong... Uh, I'm going to go all the way back to when I started using the center box. Sorry, I just don't trust myself to have used this rule right. So I'm probably okay here. The symmetry is quite good at this point, and I probably used one of these arrow, uh, squares or circles as though it was the other. These all have to be odd. That must be right. So look, I've got an odd quad there, so everything else in the column is even. That's where six goes. Um, and that's odd as well, one or five, because oh, in fact that's a one five pair. I mean, that's right. Let's look here. This is odd as well. Can't be seven or nine or three. That's one or five. And that's used up all the circles. Now on the squares, it's two and two. So that's even, two or eight. Um, here, these two must be even, two and eight in that order. I've done all this before, but let's try and do it right this time. Now here, they're both odd, so this is even. Three, this has to be odd because it sees the even digits. So they're both odd. So this is even and we get a five here. That's still the same as last time. Um, that's one or five. So we've got a one five pair. And a seven nine pair makes this a five. Well, that's better than the deadly pattern I got before. So I'm prepared to believe that makes this a one. Three, five, three, one there, and we've avoided a deadly pattern this time here. Crikey, I mean, this video is becoming about rectifying mistakes, which is not meant to be the point of these. Seven is fixed there. Uh, the time's going to be terrible on this puzzle now, because I have had to do it twice and also spent a fair amount of time when I kind of knew it was wrong not fixing it, which was really highly foolish. Um, six and eight there. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay to use uniqueness to tell you've got something wrong, and that's what I failed to do. It's not really okay for us to use it as a solving mechanism because it doesn't explain the logic fully in puzzles, and it relies on the setter having established a non-unique solution, and part of what we're proving is that the solutions to these puzzles are unique. Um, so, five there. This is working now, thank goodness. So I must have gone back far enough. Maybe I went back a long way past where I needed to, but it's just impossible to tell what to do otherwise. The, if you find these in row eight, they're all naked singles, if you get them in the right order. Um, eight and six, now I'm just gradually grinding to a finish. Have to grind sometimes, certainly in competition, you just sometimes have to keep going when things seem to be against you. And Crikey, and as I say that, I find I've got two threes here. Oh, I've mistyped a two, thank goodness. Okay, that's all right, I don't mind typos. And I think this finishes correctly, but nine minutes, 11 seconds, that won't get me two hats. Let me just check the circles, I have the same parities around them. They do, and the squares. 2-2 two, two there, 2-2 two, two there. I'm just not very good at reading digits as odd or even instinctively. 7, 5, 2, 8, 3, 4, 1, 2. Wow, yeah, I think it's right. Sorry about the, uh, the hiccup now. Last puzzle of the day, the sequence Sudoku by Sam, which feels quite similar to the, the Clover Thermo, but is very different actually. Okay, let's go. So a two has to have a one on one side of it. it. Must go one, two, three. Same is true for this two. So that's the one with a three there. So two is a helpful number. Three is less helpful. Mm, I was hoping to spot that that one couldn't have a one either side. Bother. Um, right, this can't be four, five, six, or three, five, seven. So it's either two, five, eight, or one, five, nine. Six, ah, oh, no, I was gonna say that if that's higher, it has to be a nine. Six is not a useful starting point. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it can't have a four either end, of course. So it's one, three, five. Right, so this isn't one, five, nine. Six, seven, or nine. Now, six, four, two, seven, four, one, not possible. Nine is too high. Uh, this three can't have a four either side, so we need a one and a five either side. Uh, we don't have any other threes, so let's have a look at the four. Can't have a one or a three either side, so it must be two, four, six, and the two is up there. Um, wasn't there another four? No, there's another six now. That's harder. I'm not gonna try that, I'm gonna do Sudoku. We get a four in this box, we get a three in it, and a six, and therefore a nine. Um, oh no, what the heck is going on? I misunderstood the rules. The lines are in a sequence. Okay, I'm going back to the beginning. My goodness. I'm going to have to take my own lessons here. This can be one, two, three, and it has to be that way round. The first one was right as well. So then we move on to the threes. This one can't have a four either end, so it can't be two, three, four. So it must be one, three, four. I must have misunderstood the rules. This three can't have a four either end, so it can't be two, three, four, and it can't have a one or a five that end, so it can't be one, three, five. I'm completely thrown here. What, a... what am I missing here? 
How can a three be in the middle of a sequence? Each gray line must consist of an arithmetic sequence. A sequence can begin at either end of a line. That definitely implies they appear in order. If that can't be one, three, or five, one or five, oh, a constant difference could be zero. Oh, that's evil, evil. Oh, crazy. Okay, so that could have been two, two. This must be three, three. Oh, evil zero sequence. That's just vicious, Sam. You know it is. Okay, this one is okay. It can't be three, three, three. It can't have a four at the ends. So it is five, three, one. Oh, sequence difference of zero. I'm feeling a little cheated, I'll admit. Um, well, I, I mean, I, maybe I should just feel a little dumb. At least I got to the point, but that was hard to understand. If you fell foul of that, you have my sympathy three up there is there. So puzzle has got commensurately harder given that some of these can be repeats on the line. Okay, this, if it's lower, it's two and that's fine. I don't know, it's two, four, six. Oh, that could be four, four, four. You see, I can't even remember it now. Now I've twigged the point of the puzzle. Okay, this one now needs a two on one end. Two, five, eight, three, one, four, six, seven, nine. So I think the logic before applies. This can't be a one, so it goes two, four, six. That's fair enough. Gosh, the puzzle's harder than I thought. Um, wow, talk about a sting in the tail. I'm really getting stung this time. Now that must be a two by Sudoku. So that is a two, two, two. Yeah, I mean, there's no denying that two, two, two is an arithmetic sequence, but it doesn't feel like a sequence as a non-mathematician would talk about a sequence. So I'm not feeling, not feeling in love with the idea there. I think a mathematical meaning has been put in um, has been used where a sort of language speaker who's not a mathematician is going to get very surprised. Anyway, enough enough moaning. That is, doesn't become me. And uh, I do accept that the puzzle is fair. I just ac also accept that it didn't suit me at all. Seven, um, oh, I don't know what to do with six, seven, eight, nine now. Now, this can't have a lower number that end, and it can't have a lower number that end, so that must be a pair of fives as well. Wow, so all the ones that could be full repeats are, gosh, ouch. Um, right, four there. These are stupid pencil marks to put in. Seven, eight, nine are a triple. In that row, we need a six there somewhere. Can I deal with this now? It can't have a two on either end. Never could have done. Three, six, nine works. Four, six, eight can work as well. And five, six, seven. So that really isn't helping yet. Oh, Sudoku, that's a four by Sudoku. There we go, that helps. Eight, two, four, six, nine, five. So this is three or seven. So I can place eight in the column. Wow, I wonder what my hat tally is going to be today. It is not going to be like normal <laughs> for various reasons, uh, including my own inadequacies again and again on this puzzle. That's a five by Sudoku. Four, five, two, eight, seven. And, and because Sam has comprehensively done me here. Eight, five, two, four, three. Um, one, three, four, five, two.
Really, I should just concentrate on getting it right now. I'm probably not in line for any hats. Oh, three can't be in those cells. So three, nine, that makes that a one if I've got the pencil marking right. Five and seven, eight, nine. I, I can imagine a lot of people having the same problem with this puzzle, but then we do always extrapolate from our own experience a bit too much. Um, and maybe it's just me. But 222, two, two, just, I'm going to repeat it, doesn't feel entirely like an arithmetic sequence to me. Six there, this is eight, yes. Now we're getting the final three columns done. Can't do the six, seven pair in box six. Nine and seven there are sorted. Nine, six, we get two and a one, eight pair. That's one, seven, eight, nine. Oh, come on, come on. One and eight are done. Three, five, two. Wow. So, I mean, the irony is that I was calling this set of puzzles Gas Works after an idea by Al Griff. But for me, gas didn't work today. And it was my brain not working, really. But... This puzzle was an education. Nine minutes, 17. So in fact, even after 9.11, I went, well, sorry, nine, nine minutes, 11 seconds on the prior puzzle. I went slower on this and because I got well tricked. Well done, Sam, that's very good. Now, hang around and I will look up the, um, and we're starting May the 3rd, I will look up the Discord, um, Discord channel and the intros to these puzzles. Okay, so I have the Daily Sudoku channel up in another window and I'm gonna read what the puzzle said. So the first one from Clover. Today's puzzle isn't a vanilla thermo Sudoku. Please read the rules before you start. Good morning, friends. First of all, it's gas leak time. Gas leak 15, compiling the April 2022 gas puzzles plus five bonus puzzles is attached to this message. Now on to today. One of our most frequently asked questions here at GAS is, what does strictly increase along a thermometer actually mean? Does that mean digits along a thermometer need to be consecutive? And the answer is strictly just means that digits have to always increase every single step and can't ever stay the same, like in a slow thermo where they can. It doesn't necessarily mean digits have to be consecutive, although I suppose they could be if they wanted to. Hmm. And now that we've had a Sudoku terminology lesson, let's get weird. In this consecutive thermo Sudoku, normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, digits along a thermometer have to increase consecutively. So in this puzzle, a, digit, a thermo could contain the digits 3, 4, 5, 6, but not the digits 3, 4, 5, 7. For two party hats, finish within 6 minutes 30 seconds. Ah, just missed it. For one party hat, finish within 12 minutes 30 seconds. All other solvers will earn a scholarly Skeletosaurus. Wow, okay, so I can learn the times necessary from this as well, I know now. Um, right, the next puzzle was this one from Sam, uh, the Quadro Sudoku. Today's gas, he said, is a Quadro Sudoku, one of the 10 variants that's been appearing weekly on, uh, there's another link attached, where you can also solve three daily classic Sudoku and various other special contests since 2008. That's from Fed Sudoku. In this puzzle, normal Sudoku rules apply. In addition, no two by two area can contain all odd numbers or all even numbers. For two party hats, solve the puzzle in seven minutes or less. Phew, finally got one. For a single party hat, solve it in 13 minutes or less. All other solvers will receive a weekly woolat along. Now we obviously get to learn dinosaur names that nobody's ever come across before in this thread. Um, then we get Phillips, which said, um, shallow thoughts with Philip Newman. What is time? Why must we be stuck going in one direction? Would hat times become meaningless if we could reverse the flow of time or would gas morph into the setters posting completed grids and you unwinding them to a puzzle? Today's gas is an arrow Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits long arrows must sum to the circle total. Solve in six minutes or less for two party hats. Just got that or solve in 11 minutes or less for one party hat. All other solvers will receive an asynchronous antetonitrous. Is that, that's not gonna be a dinosaur. I think these are made up names now. I wonder if I'm right or wrong about that. 
so that was the, sorry, I should have flipped over to the Philip puzzle. That's why it's the arrow of hat time, because it's about the times that own the hats. And then we go on to Fuller Half by Clover, the one with these, um, yeah, the one where I went wrongest, if that's the word. Um, shallow thoughts with Clover. Is humankind essentially good or essentially evil? Is there really such a thing as altruism? Is the two by two arrangement of cells half full or half empty? Um, I've lost the page now. Solving today's gas will settle the age old debate over at least one of these questions. In today's full or half Sudoku, then it gives the rules, uh, not all shapes necessarily, given for two party hats today, finish within eight minutes. Nah, I knew I wouldn't get that. For one party hat, finish within 15. I do get that. All other solvers will earn a dialectic dryosaurus. And then finally for Sam's puzzle, there it is. My time was 9.17. That's never going to earn two hats. A sequence Sudoku rule set. I wonder if Sam hinted at the sequence issue that foxed me here. We'll see now. Um, good afternoon. Today's guest is a sequence Sudoku. The rule set is similar to another puzzle posted by Clover about a week ago. Now, then it gives the rules exactly as we had them on the puzzle. For two party hats, solve the puzzle in 7 minutes 30 or less. I knew I didn't do that. For a single party hat, solve it in 14 minutes or less. All other solvers will receive a Sequential Skeletosaurus. Oh, so maybe these dinosaurs repeat their names. Maybe they're real. I don't know. I don't know enough about dinosaurus. I'm not dinosaurs. I'm not a paleontologist or whatever you would have to be to uh, a saurologist, perhaps. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I will continue reading out the intros. Maybe I won't. Um, not sure they added a lot to us there, but... They do obviously sometimes explain Philip's titles. Um, anyway, thank you for watching as always. Sorry, it was such a mishmash of rubbish for me today. Uh, but I still end up with seven party hats. I'm happy enough with that. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. And uh, we will do gas at some point again soon. Bye for now.